they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the spots no frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear the What's up, y'all? We're on a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we have a special guest. Not an artist, but. No, you are artist. I'm bugging, I'm bugging. Because you do both now. That's cool. That's cool. I like that whole mess up. I like the whole mess up. I like it. Come on, tell me, JL shot that. Yeah, yeah. I'm known as JL shot that. More, you know, JL. more. Well, and, also and JL. Official JL. Alter ego. Official JL, yeah. So is it an alter ego, or do you feel like it's just a breakdown? I guess it is an alter ego, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm asking some questions to say the first thing that comes to mind. These are not crazy questions, but they're questions. Okay. <laughs> okay. Stranded on an abandoned island, three things you need. Food. Three things you need, not like to survive. But like, you know. Oh, think, think, three things I need. I like, need, I, I need though? music. I need like a, a music period. Mm -hmm. Um, I need. Uh, I really only need. Oh, I need a studio. <laughs> I need a studio. Studio and music. Yeah, Got well, it. a studio period. So okay. the studio, studio could studio cover period. the music. Yeah. So I need a studio to release. And I don't even know what else I need. That's all I need. All I need is music. Music is my life. That's it, bro. That ass. You know, niggas be like, I need weed, I need liquor. Oh, I, I need bitches. weed. You're right. I do need weed. I need, I need weed. Hookah, some girls hookah. Hookah your shit. And I need some, and I need some, some nice women. Okay, bitches. Some nice, no, no, no bitches. Okay. I need, I need some nice women. <laughs> Females. Weed. Some nice women. Studio. Yeah. Sound like a party. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your favorite song right now? It could be one of yours. Favorite song? Yeah, tell me what you want about me. Yeah, but official jail for sure. Okay. Um, favorite album? Of all time? Mm, yeah. Or right now, currently. I feel like currently, I say currently. Uh, favorite. Let me look at my iTunes. Yeah. What What's the project you been bumping? Um, my let's see, I be everywhere. Um, <laughs> favorite Summer album? Walker? Yeah. Summer Walker. Brent Fires. Nah, none of those. Um, I'm into I'm into those. I'm I'm definitely yeah. into them. But, but favorite album right now is what? I don't even know. I'd probably say Don Tolliver. Okay, that's yeah. a good one. That's a good one. All right. Um, what's one artist you want to work with that you haven't yet? Drake. You see how fast that was. Finally. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. what show are you watching currently? I don't really watch shows. You don't watch TV. Wait, no. You watch YouTube. I watch YouTube, YouTube here and there. No, I'm not a YouTube guy. I'm just like a doc documentary guy. So you watch documentaries? Yeah, documentary and stand-ups. Last documentary you watched? Oh, um, the uh, the Untold Stories. They had a new one called uh, Money Something. Nah, I forgot. But it, like Untold, that. Untold. Okay, okay. It, the okay. new episode. Most used emoji? That I use? Mm -hmm. It's probably the, like the heart emoji. Like, the red ones? I love you. No. Oh, just the, the hand two, hearts? The two hands, gotta, gotta, yeah. Gotta, gotta. Okay. <laughs> At what age do you want to retire? Uh, never. A conspiracy, theory, a conspiracy theory you think is real? UFOs. UFOs? Yeah. Okay. Last thing you spend money on? Food. Well, I'm at a game show. Like, okay. I got to answer fast. <laughs> what's, your, what's your biggest flex? Um, being able to be multifaceted. Yeah, that is a flex. People don't be thinking that is. That's just, all right. Um, what's your favorite app on your phone? My favorite app? Mm -hmm. Instagram. Instagram? Yeah, you see how bad. Yeah, I, I said it's so, 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 so sad. I'm so sad on my Instagram, man. Mm -hmm. What's a trend that you wish didn't exist? A trend? That you wish didn't exist. Cloud chasing? <laughs> Fair. Uh, and what song do you listen to for motivation? That's rough. I, I'm, it depends on how I'm feeling. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah, it really. Like you does. don't have a no, not not one specific song. Oh, probably like what type of motivation? Like motivation to to exercise, okay. motivation to motivation to get work done. To get work done. Yeah. That's rough. Is it probably? Is, yeah. Because it, it, it depends on what kind of work. It will kind of work how I'm feeling, you know what I mean? Oh like, God, I used to, I ain't going from my, just like my go-to song to just like make me feel a way to want to do anything is uh, a Janae Cole, um, 
was that four four four? What's that song called? Oh. Is it four four four? Jesus Jay-Z, Christ! Yeah? It's, it's okay that. if you don't Waze. know. Ways. Ways. Yeah. W a y s. It was w dot a dot y dot s. Okay. Just because I don't know that song just it, it stuck with me after this girl played it for me after a, a video shoot like when I first started. And I, she knew I did music as well, so I was like kind of just opening up and telling her like how I felt about you know, music. N- yeah, not being able to really do it because I'm chasing another dream. Mm-hmm. Um, and she just played that song for me and it just like hit home, like it okay. was yeah. So from the gate, you've been wanting to do music. I've been doing music way before this. <clears throat> before this, so like when when did was, your music thing started? I started doing music when I was a fucking probably like eleven. Okay. Yeah, I was an audio engineer for most of my life. That's why I know so many artists. Mm, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, like, when was you trying to take it serious? Music. Or was it always serious? It's always for you? serious. Yeah. I mean, I put when out my I first. Said, okay. So, when did you focus on it? I want to say. I focused up on in 2008. I dropped my first project in 2008. Okay. That was already one. Okay. It was a mixtape. Okay. And it was it was. It was I did, it did, it did, okay. it did, it did, it did what it so was So you did the whole thing, like the engineering and everything? Yeah. You do everything yourself? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. So like, so you went to school, college? No. No? You learned on YouTube? No. I learned just keep learned? doing it. Just trying it? Well, I was there. I mean, I, like I said, I started at 11, so I was always in studios. Like my uncle mm-hmm. used to have me in the studio, so I always just sit by the engineer and just ask questions. Okay. <clears throat> and so when did you start, like... People say you know you're serious about something when you start investing in it. Like Correct. When did you start buying Correct. Pro Tools and all Correct. that? Correct. Correct. So um, when did that happen? That happened around 2008. Um, my boy, rest in peace, King Face. Um, mm-hmm. Me and him went like I put a little money in for a studio that uh, we you know started up ourselves and put it in his basement. Okay. So I, you know, I that's probably my first investment, like because I knew I wanted to do it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So. But that was my first little investment. But when I dropped my mixtape, I invested all my money into just my money. Like, I mm. had the release party. My, I printed the CDs. This okay. is when we had CDs. I did the covers, yeah, yeah. did the print. I did everything myself. So, but all this was all your own? You didn't learn this from nowhere? No. Nah. This just you just This was me. Stuff? Yeah, just being, just, yeah, just being who I am, honestly. Dead-ass. Just going after what I want. Wow. So, like... Me, I learned a lot of like editing shit from like YouTube and shit like that. Back then, it wasn't it wasn't like it wasn't, that. Wasn't YouTube word. Yeah, it wasn't really yeah, like that. It was more so word of mouth and shit. Mm-hmm. All right, so learned everything through trial and error. Yeah. Okay. Um, how did you? I guess technology always changes. Yeah. So was you growing with it, or you had to take time to get to learn it, or like, what do you think? I was growing with it heavily. I, I was always into you're electronics. Doing everyday type shit. Well, I was a little fucking scam nigga back in the days. <laughs> I used to do burnout phones and shit. Uh, so I, used, I was always into electronics. You remember mm-hmm. Sheik, right? I used to have the whole hood with burnouts. Oh, <laughs> everybody had burnouts. <laughs> I used to come to my crib, open my drawer. I got mad phones in it. I used okay. to buy refurbished phones from the ad and shit. And fix them and stuff? Yeah. Okay, so music 2008 project. No. Yeah. Walk us through what happened next. Did you pick up a camera <clears throat> next? No, nah, what Did happened you, was like, yeah. I didn't plan. I planned up to my release party, and then I'm thinking, like, yo, I'm just going to get signed, and that's it. You know what oh, I mean? Wow. And literally, that didn't happen. And wow. I kind of was just, like, defeated, you know what that's I mean? Crazy. And um, I started. Especially doing everything by yourself. You yeah. know, when you spend all that time on some shit, yeah. and it don't hit the way it's supposed to yeah. hit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that shit definitely probably was yeah. All right, so. But the crazy thing, it did hit. That shit hit. But you just that shit was deal. hitting. Yeah, yeah. It just ain't just ain't do what I thought. I mean, but like, it was me though. Me looking in hindsight. Me, you know? I know so. It was me. It was my arrogance. It was it was who I was. Like I was an asshole back in the days. You know what I mean? Like I just recently changed. Like you know what I mean? Like within like the past yeah. two years. Okay, asshole in what sense? Like on some like you think you know everything or no. asshole in the you ain't yeah, yeah. gonna. I, I thought I knew everything, and I. And what was the next one you was about to say? Because I'm I sure. I was gonna just, say. Oh, you ain't wanna like politic with niggas. Both. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's who hey. I was. Yeah, music industry is 90% relationships. So yeah, I didn't know that. Politic with niggas. I didn't know that. Like, I didn't know that. 
Because right. I did everything in myself anyway. I was a loner, you know what I mean? Right. So it's like I'm, I'm kind of used to being by myself, and I don't mind being by myself in a sense, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. So it wasn't an urge to be around, around the, the mix, you know what I mean? It's just mm -hmm. like I'm getting my shit done and, and do right. what I want to do. Like I'm not mm -hmm. really into all of that in a sense, you know? So after the project is out, you're getting to, I guess, was it a depression, do you feel like? Or do you feel like it was more so a reevaluating your future? What do you think? Ah, I mean, depression definitely came in, mm -hmm. definitely came in. Um, but it was, yeah, I was reevaluating. You know, I went back to what I knew, what was engineering. Um, and then, you know, I, I, was, I was heavy into poker, um, underground poker. Like, I used to run my own games. I used to deal, like, mm -hmm. make a lot of money doing it, like, a lot of money. Yeah. I heard, like, card games and shit like that is lit in the city. Yeah, yeah, I, I used to yeah. do that shit for most of my life. So you're back to engineering now. Are you working on a new project? Are you locking no. up with artists? No, I was. I was working on, I actually came, I, I recorded a whole new project already too, and I never dropped it. So you just was recording and then sitting with it? Oh, oh I have over probably 500 records. Yeah, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get through your timeline. So 2008, yeah. you project, you back to engineering, yeah. poker games, making some money. Mm -hmm. Now you're working on what? Working with other artists. You say you did another project. Did yeah. you, you didn't release that one though. No, I never dropped that. So why though? Because um, wanted to focus on something else, or it was just the way my life was going at that time. Okay, personal stuff. Um, personal stuff. So I was living in a squatter crib. Um, the music was okay. It was good, but like what I do, I test my music out. I usually go to certain like a certain amount of people, like like a good hand, like ten people, mm -hmm. say for instance. People I really trust their judgment and, and, and just believe that they know what's best for me. Okay. And I played it for them and I didn't get the response I wanted. Okay. So I was just So you went to like work on more music or what do you think? At that point in time I think I was I was a little over it. Okay. I was a little over it, so that's when I turned to the camera. Mm, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So picking up the your first camera was a what? Do you remember? A T three I. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> no I, I think that's everybody's first camera. No cap. Yeah. All right, so but did you already know cameras at this time though? Um no. I can't say that I did. So you was learning again. Yeah. yeah. Yo, you really on some trial and error type shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I learned I learned that, you know, just taking that first step, that's the only way you're gonna ever figure out of anything. Of course, of yeah. course, of course. So was you asking for insight? Was anybody helping you? Or you really nah, just, this time just figuring I, out? I, this time I was just, yeah, I was literally just went out and started shooting and started shooting and just seeing what, what was happening, mm -hmm. you know. In hindsight, once again, you know, I, I, I remember always seeing my mother back in the days just with a camera, always just snapping photos. She used to have shoebox, shoeboxes of photos and shit, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I think that's where that whole thing came from. Word. Yeah. Okay, so was it pictures first and then music videos and stuff? Or yeah, like, pictures first, okay, for sure. Okay, pictures first. Yeah. Okay, so, but no classes, just trial and error. Just trial and error. Um, okay, so doing pictures first, changing to a videos now. Yeah. So you learned how to edit on your own too? Yeah. YouTube University is out at this time. Like, what's up? <laughs> was you on nah, YouTube? Not no, yet? Nah. Not at, no. No. Because no. it was probably like ringtone time at this time. No, 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 no. Videos, no, no, no. Videos, I didn't start till 2016, 2017. 17. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so YouTube is all the way out. Yeah. But I, did, I just didn't, I'm, I'm more of a, a hands-on type hands of guy, on you know what I mean? Right yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I mean? But, like you said, trial and error, like, literally. Okay. Yeah, so if you picked up the camera in 2016, 2017, mm -hmm. that means drill artists is kind of... No, that's when I started doing videos, yeah. Started doing videos. Yeah. Okay, so Brooklyn Drill was kind of, like, doing... I think the top ones at that time was, what, Flotastic and shit? The, the videographers? Yeah. Yeah, Flotastic. Um, yeah. Stack Peso. I mean, is that yeah, Peso? Yeah, Meet Stack. the Connect, all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pesos? I think that's the name. Yeah. So was you, was you wanting to shoot music videos, or did you want to direct, or like... Funny thing is, I never wanted to shoot the videos <laughs> that, I'm shoot, that, I, that I shoot. You shoot. know what I mean? Like, and, and that was my thing. I didn't want to shoot... I wasn't... I was, at first, I was shooting fashion, like fashion videos, because a lot of my friends are like clothing designers, one of one of them think about it, you know what I mean, one about uh, my boy One Lace. So I was shooting a lot of their shit. And then, you know, of course, all of, I thought, the reason why I even transitioned into video was because I'm an engineer and I'm like, mm -hmm. bro, I can make money doing this yeah, shit. Yeah, all in one. Everybody's here, why not yeah. just, yo, I can shoot a video for you. 
And I attempted to, that with my boy Sko, and I'm going to tell the story. It's, I told the story like once, but Sko, my boy Sko, oh, y'all yeah. might know him if y'all from Queens, but it's the, I asked him to shoot a video that he had with, um, he had, it was just fire, and, and he, he turned me down. And he, and he, he told me, he said, at that point right there, he said, yo, don't be one of them niggas that get nice and just like, you know, say fuck you later on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I wouldn't say fuck you, but yeah. I did get nice, so. Shout to you, <laughs> All right, but, uh, so yeah. who was the first music video you shot for, though? I remember? always get this wrong. Mm, but you I don't think, remember. No, I do. Okay. But you it's think. either it's one of the two. Okay. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I think it was for my boy Easy. <clears throat> okay. My boy Easy. It was Easy, rest in peace, Afghan Tog, and my boy Arson. And it was another guy on it, Scar. I think it was them or Droop Bino. One of the one or the other. Okay, so Queens artists. Queens. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, so in Queens, you start shooting your videos now. When who what was the first video that like popped off for you? You feel like? Um, Welcome to the Party Remix. Huh? Welcome to the Party Welcome Remix. Welcome to the Party Remix. Right. Yeah. That's Brooklyn though. That's Brooklyn, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when did so like yeah. did you already know about pop or like what, what happened? Not a, this was the remix. This was Fabi. So answer. um no, nah, I didn't know. I didn't know about none of them okay. at all. And, so um, somebody called you in. Was like, Yo, my, no, my, my right hand at the time, Jerry. Jerry is Fabi's manager. That's oh, okay. we grew up together, childhood friends. Yeah. Sorry, I can't. Fabi got a lot of people on his team. I don't really. Yeah, well, I mean his his up. you know his two main managers is yeah, Bless yeah. Bless and Jerry. You know what I mean? Yeah. So shot that for Fabio. Yeah, Jerry. And that goes viral. That goes viral. Viral everywhere. So now. You're getting booked now. No, I'm still. I'm. I'm. I'm, so, I'm a loyal dude, so I wasn't even thinking about all that at that point in time. So I mm -hmm. was just. I was just sticking with five. Like, what you want to do next? Mm -hmm. So we did jumping. Okay. Then after jumping, we did big drip. Mm. But as as we shooting big drip, I meet Pop at the studio session with Favi. Right. You know what I mean? And he asked me to shoot Dior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So. I shot D.O. And, and Big Drip at the same time. Uh -huh. I had to edit them at the same time. I was fucking getting barked on by both sides. Both sides. Hurry up, are, hurry both, up, hurry up. They thought I was going against them. Both of them thought I was going against them. They're like, yo, bro, you, you putting them in front of me. And I'm like, yo, I'm not. Yo, bro, you put him in front of me. Yo, bro. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm just one man, bro. Like, <laughs> like, and this time, I'm not even that nice. You know what I mean? I'm going hard just to try to figure everything out at this right. time. You know what I mean? Because this is all happening so fast. What? So I fast. Really like a fucking bullet. Yeah. So from the time you picked up the camera to the time you shot the first Fabio one, how long was that? A couple months? No. Probably like a year? Yeah, like, like a year. year. Oh, so you've been practicing. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Not, not yeah, I like, wasn't. I wasn't. Not for the demand that they wanted, but you was getting it together. Type yeah, of yeah, I was getting it together. Did really you? with the editing, because I, I, I didn't edit my first couple of videos. My boy Arson oh. was editing my videos. Okay, okay. Shouts okay. to Arson. Okay. Um, but it was... Honestly, my, the, my, my turning point, and I never said this, but my turning point was with Tina Bugatti. Um, she's an artist from Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to work with her a lot. Um, mm -hmm. She writes. She's a writer, too. Okay. But um, I had to edit her video. I, didn't, I took a whole year to edit her video, mm. a video called Lonely. But I couldn't edit it. I just didn't know what to do. I didn't think the footage was good enough or whatever. So she mm. sat down with me. She was like, yo, let's just edit it together. I'm like, all right, bet. And the way she... Kind of, kind of explained what she wanted. Kind of gave me a whole formula. Um, you know what I mean? And I'm gonna give that to you, shout Tina. Out to her. I'm gonna give that to Word. you, Tina. I never it's gave this to her. But I'm gonna give this to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just know yeah. that. I'm gonna give that to her. So <laughs> it kind of, it kind of definitely laid out the formula for, uh, for the way I okay. edit. Yeah. All right, cool. So, of course, but I'm sure you can book now. So when did, was it time to get an editor? And you was like, damn, I'm really busy for this. Oh, this is just recent. Oh, you just got an editor recently? Just recent. I, I just. So he was very hands on with everything. So. Everything. Oh, I okay. think my last three videos I had editors for. So, like, are you. Because at this time, I'm sure it's pressure because Big Drip was going up, Pop Smoke's going up. But it, was it the pressure of making this a great video or yes. was it just the time? That was my pressure. Oh, both. The time was the, the, the killer, though. Yeah. You know, that was the stress. The, the the making it great was just I needed time, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was yeah. just like counterproductive in a sense. Okay. But are you satisfied with the turnout? Fuck yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say like I mean, after all that. Big drip, yeah, I would've I would have done less 
a little less with the effects, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but Dior, I loved it, like, because it was cinematic. It's what I, what I like to shoot, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, in this time, you're shooting videos. Are you having time to make music still, or, or are yeah. you so busy with videos? No, I'm doing both. You don't see me out no, here? No, I see you now. But I'm saying <laughs> at that time. Oh, oh, when at that time, I wasn't even thinking about music. Oh, that's I what I'm saying. I put music totally on the back burner. So, burner. that's what I'm saying. So, you took a break from it. Yeah, I cut it totally out of my life. Okay, so when did you start adding it back, is what I'm asking. Because, remember, you still got the project that's done that you didn't put out. But the music video thing was shooting up right now. When did you know, like, okay, I'm, I can manage both? When I, when I started having free time, honestly, is when, when just my videos started slowing up. Okay. When, you know, I stopped getting hit up by Fabi, you know what I mean? I stopped getting hit up by TJ and shit. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to do something I love now. I'm going to just, you know what I mean? And I yeah. just started just recording. My boy AJ over here, he, he heard a song I did, uh -huh. like half of a song I did. And, um... It was shit going on, and he's like, "Yo, bro, you you have to finish this record, mm. like just like you just have to finish it." And I wasn't listening to him um, until like two weeks or a week for him to really just like mm -hmm. tell me every day, like, "Yo, bro, you have to finish this song." And I just like finished it one day, and then from that, it gave me the motivation to just keep going. Well, actually, I, I met some producers from the UK, and that's what really really sparked it. Okay. Once they yeah they sent me this pack, and it was just magic from there. It was just like whoa. Okay, so you linked with some UK producers? Or I didn't look for them. 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 They sent you packs. Nah, it, it happened on them? Call of Duty. <laughs> what? Yo, I hear that a lot yeah, though. Call the of video Duty. Video game, y'all be connecting. Bro, man, that shit is worldwide. It's global. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I heard that. But, um, like, yeah, Call of Duty. Duty. My boy introduced me to his boy, and then he hit me up saying he wanted to send beats to Fabi. Mm. I'm like, I right, bet, whatever. You know, I get that all day. You know what okay. I mean? I don't never is check. Is that it. annoying? Oh, super annoying. <laughs> So, so, so annoying. But you and Fabi good though, right? Y'all cool? Yeah, it's my, I'm about to go check them out after this. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just asking. But like, yeah, so you got all these inquiries now for Fabio, but you're also meeting people that could possibly help with your music too, right? What do you mean? Yeah, of course. I'm networking heavy. Yeah, networking. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. So like, um, so are you also like pitching yourself as well? Never. Like, yo, I'm working on this. Never. Oh, Never okay. did that once. That's cool. That's real. That's respect. Yeah. So now... Music, you have time for both. You're connecting yeah. with people. You still have a network of all the people that you met. Correct. You know what I'm saying? So how are you flipping that to make it work in your benefit right now? Um, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, honestly, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. You're figuring um, it out still. I'm figuring it He's out. He's hands on with yeah, everything, y'all. Yeah. I'm, I'm figuring it's, it's, it's rough. That's like, you know, the, you know, people, everybody needs help. I can't do everything myself. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I do as much as I can. And, you know, I, I give you a product and, you know, I, I might need people to help me sell that product. You know what I mean? Of course. Yeah. That, and that's what, you know, that's all it is, really. Do you have like a team of people helping you? Of course, you say you got an editor now, but on the music tip, like, do you have a team of people helping you? Yeah, I have a small team right now. Yeah. Okay. I, have, I have a couple of managers. Yeah. Shout out to AJ, my boy from, you know, Blazing mm -hmm. Bars. I got my boy Clash over here. Management, that's management. Yeah, that was all media training him. I got, I got, <laughs> I got burned it down. <laughs> so, like, when did you confirm, like, yeah, I want you a part of my team, I want you a part of my team? Like, how did you, how did you know? Well, AJ, I told you, he was fucking, he's the one who pretty much forced me to. Drop that song. <laughs> yeah, you yep. know what I mean? So, I initially was like, yo, and I just, I, I know him, I've been around him for a, a few years, mm -hmm. and I, I've seen his, his air for music, and I've seen his taste for music, and I just knew he, he has an air. And he has connects as well. He has his own podcast and shit. So, okay. you know I mean? so yeah, I was like, yo, bro, just be my manager, my day to day and shit. Okay. Type shit. And then Clash, I've always worked with Clash for Visionary Vision from the production side. Okay. He, he ran that company pretty much. Yeah. All right. So, being that you, not, you know how to engineer, you know how to shoot, you know how to make beats too? Yeah. <laughs> nah, this nigga does everything. <laughs> so, like, knowing, now learning the game and seeing that, you know, relationships and things matter. Correct. How is it now trying to delegate people to help you with your craft and it's not all you now? I, I, I've been over that from the production. The okay. production helped me over that. And, I, and you know, that's why I, I feel like it was God sent. Everything, the whole, the whole video Experience. thing was God sent. Yeah. The whole everything was God sent. Mm -hmm. And I, knew, I know in my heart that that was to bridge me to this. Mm. I know for sure. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? And I have no doubt. Um, because everything you just said. You know what I mean? Everything you just said, literally, I, I watched 
I watched the formula. Like I watched it. I was there the whole way. You know what yeah. I mean? And and I and I you know I networked throughout the whole time. You know what I mean? I I did what I was supposed to do. You know what I mean? But the production, like I said, that's what really broke me out of that that whole thing, because um, I had to learn to work with a team. Yeah. I had to, because I was so used to being a videographer. You know what I mean? What was the hardest thing I guess to let go? Was the hardest thing to let people engineer your shit? Edit. Edit. Yeah, it's the hardest. That was the hardest thing for me to ever let go. Okay. But once I, I ain't going front, I, I think George, yeah, George Buford. Once I saw his work, I was like, all right, I can let him edit my shit and he'll get it done. And he yeah. did. I'm talking about on the music tip, though. Oh, yeah. What's the hardest part to let go? I didn't let go of anything. No, not letting go. I said, what are you letting? Pe- I'm sure you're letting people engineer you now. I'm sure you're getting beats from other people now. Barely. Man, <laughs> this thing. <laughs> so, this, so, so, music is really your baby, is what That's it sounds like. That's my baby. Like, you haven't, I you know promise you, it's my baby. But nah, <laughs> I, 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 um, I, I still engineer myself, but okay. I send my music over to get mixed okay. to my boy CJ. Okay. Shout out to my boy CJ, CJ the Great. He's amazing. He mixes and masters my my work. Um, okay. That so was hard. That was probably the hardest. Letting people engineer or mix. Mix. Mm, okay. All right, so now letting other people mix your music. Mm-hmm. Was you nitpicking? Was you one of those people? Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I think we got um, up to, like, number nine or ten mix. Yo. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Sorry, CJ. I love you, man. I appreciate you. Nah, it's cool. I feel like everybody, if, when something's your baby and you're passionate, I feel like yeah. you're always going to find something wrong with something. Yeah. So, um, so now... Shooting videos, shooting your videos now, are you directing everything, like, from start to finish of how you want to go? Is it hard to, like, turn the director hat off and be the artist? Uh, <laughs> so, I don't direct uh, I don't direct my videos. I create and direct my videos. Okay. So, I have a team called the Spark Plugs. Um, they, they, sh- they direct all my videos. Okay. And um, I trust them. I trust them with... with, with I trust them with my, you know, with, with the your vision. vision. So, yeah, I just let them do what they do. So, okay. I, yeah, it's not that hard. Okay. Not with them, at least. Okay, just yeah. the music part. It's off. Just hit the power, remote. Hit the power <laughs> off. Cool. Yep, there you go. She's nah, off. Cool, you with jokes. What's your sign? Me, I'm a Virgo. Ooh, that's what make, it makes so much sense now. Okay. You're a Virgo? No, I'm a Libra. You were so mean? you were so close to being great. Mm-hmm. Now I'm playing with you. <laughs> <laughs> what what is why am I sign? Like what what that mean? Nah, I know I know I know how you are. I know your per, I know your traits. Damn, we're good. One of my my best friends is a trait. Me and Dollar Rod is a fucking. Burgers burger. are good, right? We good. Y'all good to a certain extent. Okay, we a little bossy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so now you put the cre- creative vision together. They directing it for you. Um, are you nitpicking at this, or are you just kind of nah, like loving it? No, not at all. Not at all. Like, you'll <laughs> okay. be surprised. Like, Shout out to the camera. Like, I'm, yeah, like, I'm not at all. I'm, like, I'm responsive. Anything they want me to do, I'm going I'm to try it yeah. out and everything, yeah. Because I know how it is if, if it was on the other foot, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I've been with the artists. Okay. No, I've been with artists where I'm trying to direct, and, like, they ain't giving me that mm-hmm. energy, you know what I mean? Like, okay. And I wouldn't want to give that to them, you know what I mean? Because okay. I know how that shit feels. I already know. Okay, so... Your EP is what's the what's the creative process behind your EP? My EP, the inspiration was from you know the first mixtape. Mm-hmm. If you've seen the first mixtape cover, you probably don't because it's nowhere anywhere. But um, that piff is R.I.P. So that was the only place it was living. But um, it it looks very similar to. Hopefully, I can find it. But it looks very similar to this cover. But it was it was like. Digitized is cartoonized, mm-hmm. um, and uh, pretty much I recreated it in real life to show you know growth and maturity. Um, and I had my boy Million Dollar Ross spray paint the the already's on the the backdrop, mm-hmm. um, who was you know that meant a lot to me okay. for his artwork. Um, I had my boy Owner uh, take the photo. Um, mm-hmm meant a lot to me you know it's a, it's a lot so this is a real meaningful project everything about it even everything. i dropped it on my brother's birthday who passed yeah oh, okay so. so is this the project that you held on to back then or you added new songs no this is all new songs all new song? okay yeah so you got back in the groove you're back in the studio yeah, got yeah. a new vibe what's the vibe now going into it 
2008, you, I mean, 2006, something like that, we said. You learned your lesson you and know. learned from there, yeah. promoted that, marketed that. So now I'm moving into it, also working with so many artists by, at this time. Right. So now, what's going into it now, what's, what's the, what are your thoughts um, in creating this project? I had to, I just had to be as vulnerable as possible. Like, honestly, okay. that was, that was yeah. my, my, my whole mindset going into it. Like, yo, just be vulnerable, as vulnerable as you've ever been, and just, just go for it. And don't be afraid to just, like, let it go, because I, I have so much music that I hold on to, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. just got to let it go, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So is music more so therapeutic to you, or is it just like... Super therapy. Super? It's probably like, yeah, D therapy for me, yeah. So is it you have to be in a mood to go to the studio, or...? Well, I don't, my studio is in my crib, so. Oh, that's so whenever you feel that's like That's my it. living room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so whenever you feel like yeah, it. Yeah, so whenever I, yeah, yeah, I have to feel something, though. Like, that, that album, that EP stemmed from a breakup. Mm, you know what okay. I mean? And I, and, I, and I noticed, like, it's like, because all, like, all the great, like, MJB, you know what I mean? She's one of my favorites. Um, Every time she had a breakup, she came out with a fucking insane album. Summer Walker. Summer yep. Walker. Yep. Fucking, you know what I mean? We about to get some. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, I, I noticed like that's probably something. I, I know I have to go through something traumatic to to do something insane. Okay. Yeah. So, what has the reception been like? It's been an, uh, it's been amazing, like beyond amazing. Okay. The show. The show really like stamped a lot of things because you got to see it in person yeah a lot of people like the the energy the fucking love was beyond just like beyond what i could have imagined was that your first time performing no that was my show first show back first as an show artist. back yeah so that was your first i've time done a lot of big back. shows back in the days oh okay, like okay. i did sobs highland ballroom okay so that's things. your first show back mm -hmm. and everybody's fucking with it do you see a lot of the fans that you had back yes. then still? And that's, oh, that's what, and that's good. the thing that that's the thing that makes me smile the most and you know warms my heart the most is that they stuck around for ten years. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, what's one message you want to give to your fans? You're not going missing on them again, right? Hmm. What's one message? Oh, I'm you not going missing. Nah, nah. <laughs> that was yeah, my message. But I'm not going missing on y'all no more. I'm around. here to stay. I'm here to stay, man. It's official JL. JL shot that both. I'm here. I'm both. You know what I mean? Just call me JL. You know what I mean? But you're going to figure it out. You know what I mean? Um, but same message I give to everybody nowadays, be a good person, man. It's because it's better to be a good person than be a talented person. Because them talented people ain't going to go nowhere if they ain't good. You know what I mean? Okay. So just be a good person. All right. And um, I was going to say, what advice do you want to give people? But you kind of gave them. Yeah. Yeah. So, so okay. If someone never heard the EP, what song should they hear first? Ah, oh, that's rough. I love "Tell Me What You Want." Tell me what you want. I love that record. Okay. Yeah. So if we. But what would y'all say? Just press, just press play. Oh, just press, press play. play. Wow. Nice. So the first one out the gate. Oh yeah, not nah, out the gate slaps. Slapping? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Featuring okay. Nika Morris. That's my only feature on the album. Okay. 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 Have you listened to it? I'm not super, super in tune yet. I'm sorry. I'm late to the party, y'all. Okay. You got to listen to it. Yeah. And you got to give me, me your on. real... That's why I asked. was the first one I got to hear. Oh, yeah. No. Once, you, saying, once you press play, play. You saying... Once you press, press, once okay. you press play, you're gonna, I think you're going to... I it. bet. I bet. So, so, so next time I see you, I need a little review. Okay. That's fair. Hell yeah. I'm going to run up on you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you good, G. All right. Yeah. So um, tell the people where to find you. How can they tune in? Um, yeah, find me. Uh, you can go to jlshotthat.com, honestly. That has everything there. But if you want to find me, official JL on Instagram, jlshotthat on Instagram. Um, yeah, everywhere. Same thing, jlshotthat or official JL. I kind of linked the two in a sense, so, yeah. Make it easier for people. I need to make it easier, yeah. yeah. I ain't going to front. That's been a downfall of mine so far because a lot of people can't find me because they look jlshotthat mm. instead of official JL. Official JL. But okay. something's gonna happen soon. So maybe you should make a project called Official JL. What like uh, uh, name? Easier. Um, like self-titled. Maybe just like I don't know. You gotta find creative ways. Yeah, you gotta to find do. a medium. Yeah. yeah, medium and that. But yeah, all right, y'all, and we out.